morning, church. This is Pastor Mendez. Uh, we talk a lot about faith, and we're instructed to walk by faith. Now, faith is not wishful thinking or having a positive mindset. It's not that at all. It's, it's not something that rests on nothing. It's our hearts completely trusting, completely resting in the might and in the perfection of our great God. Faith is an acknowledgement of who God is. It's actual worship to have faith in God. And the Bible tells us in Numbers 14, uh, when the spies go out and search the land that God promised to them, and they come back and there's no faith. They, they're complaining and they're scared. There's fear. And they say they brought an evil report of the land. And they said in verse 33, And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. And all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried. And the people wept that night. Where was their faith? And what I want to tell you this morning is that it is possible to advance without faith. And it is possible to progress and to do certain things without faith. They did. They had left Egypt and they had all done all these things. They had made it to this point. But without faith, they weren't going to make it any further. And without faith, we won't ever get to where God wants us to be. And we can still do the Christian things. And we can still, you can still do a lot of things. You can still pray without faith. You can still go to church without faith. It'll never be what God wants you to be doing. You'll never be, be living that life that God wants you to live. It won't please God for you to just mechanically do those things that you know you're supposed to do. We need to live and walk by faith. It is possible to do certain things, but your strength and your sense of responsibility and your even pride will only take you so far. And there are so many moments in which much more will be asked of us, and it won't be there. We won't have the strength. We won't have the resources. We won't even have the ability, but God never sleeps. He's never needy. He's never tired. He is a mighty fortress, uh, and positive thinking can only take you so far. Uh, preparing for every single thing can only take you so far. We want to be where God is can take us where only God can take us. We want to see what only God can do. It's funny because in verse 5 we see that Moses and Aaron, uh, the Bible says, they fell on their faces before all the assembly. Not even they are showing much, you know, much faith at the time. And listen, don't rely on the faith of others. You need to know your God and you need to trust in the in the might and in the power of of your God. They had advanced, they had marched, but they were not going to go any further without faith. And, and life is that way. We are going to face things that we're not going to be able to make it on our own. And I know it doesn't sound very encouraging to tell you this, but you're not enough. You're not enough. I'm not enough. God is more than enough. And you will only be able to make it as far as your strength or religion can take you, as far as the feeling of responsibility can take you, but you'll never go as far as God wants you to go. And the Bible tells us not everybody thought that way. The Bible talks to us about uh, Joshua and Caleb. And the Bible says that they went and they said, what's wrong with you people? Uh, we, the land we pass uh, through the search is succeeding good land. If the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which floweth with milk and honey. Only rebel not ye against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bred for us. Their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not. I want to encourage you to once again walk by faith, to, to stop doing things mechanically. It's not enough. To stop doing things out of just a sense of responsibility, it's not enough. And, and a trial will come, and maybe today will be that trial, in which it will show you that it's not enough. We need to walk by faith. We need our hearts to truly worship God and say, God, you are almighty. You are greater than anything that I'm facing. You can help me and only you can help me get through this. We walk by faith, not by sight. God bless you.